Simone Biles leaves the Tokyo Olympics with two medals, silver and bronze. They might not be the five that were expected. They aren't the golds that everyone was assuming that they would see. But she leaves these games with something even bigger, and that is the influence that she's had on the conversations we have about mental health and the importance of prioritizing it. She came in expecting to be able to compete in every single event. She made five event finals, and she never thought she wouldn't be able to do that. Physically, she was unable to do floor and vault and uneven bars. So the fact that she was able to come back for balance beam, that to her was a, was a win because she wanted to compete. She couldn't physically do it in the other events. And she said after the balance beam final that this, this was simply a performance for her, just so that she would have one last time at these Olympics to go out there and compete and do it the way that she wanted, a performance that she could be proud of. We already knew she was the greatest athlete. Now she has shown her vulnerabilities as a person, and she has given the rest of the world permission to say it's okay to not be okay. Honestly, I don't know what's next for Simone. The short term, we know that she's got the tour that she's doing this fall, the Gold Over America tour, which starts in September. She has said she wants to take vacation. Previously, she had kind of left the door open for Paris when she was asked about it after the beam final. She said, I, you know, I haven't even processed these games. I can't even think about another one. So it's not out of the realm of possibility of her taking a year off and then coming back and being in shape for Paris. She is an incredible athlete. These Olympics don't change that. But what she has done to further this conversation, this very needed conversation about the importance of mental health is amazing. This is what we'll be talking about 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Her medals will be secondary to that.